Well, hi, everybody, and welcome to week two for Sideline Wrap-Up, week two. We go about 12, 13 weeks with this show. I'm not sure that we can have any better games than we had tonight. It was the season opener for some teams. It was game two for others. Most of the Georgia and Alabama teams really don't open until next week, except Ringgold and Dalton. They open tonight at the new Don Patterson Stadium down in Ringgold. Dave Staley and Jim Reynolds call the game on this TV and NewsChannel9.com. Dave, this is the first of a bunch of white knuckler games we had tonight. You had a dandy big guy. Thanks, Daryl. Yeah, it was a great game. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Don Patterson Field here in uh, Ringgold, Georgia. And we expected, I know we always say this, but we expected a good game. A lot going on before the game, this brand-new facility. This was the first high school football game ever at the brand-new Don Patterson Field. Beautiful facility. Dalton coming in, you know, uh, Ringgold in its history had only knocked off the Catamounts once. That would be one time looking to make it two tonight. And with all the intangibles, you had to like Ringgold's chances. Let's pick up the highlights and show you what we have. Well, Dalton's first play from scrimmage, I'd say it's a winner. Kelvis Rhodes, the sophomore. We talked about him in the pregame show and also in some of our sideline wrap-up uh, stuff at 6 o'clock. 56 yards gone. It's 7 to nothing, and the Cats have the lead. But later on in the first quarter, Ringgold comes right back. It's Austin Phelps. Nine yards and the touchdown. The extra point is missed. And that's your score at the half. Seven to six, Dalton with the lead. Third quarter starts to turn in the Catamount's favor. Cole Calfey looking for his buddy Brandon Dale. Finds him 24 yards. Touchdown, Dalton with an eight-point lead over Ringgold, 14 to six. And then pick it up in the fourth quarter. It's Rhodes again, five yards out. That makes it 21 to 6. And the Catamounts are in complete control, but Ringgold would not roll over. Quarterback Slade Dale throws up a couple of touchdown strikes later on in the fourth quarter. This one, this would be to Kyle Scholl, 10 yards. That made it 21 to 19, but that's as close as the Tigers would get. Great game to watch. You certainly got your money's worth, but Dalton continues its domination over the Ringgold Tigers. 21 to 19, your final. And afterwards, Dalton head coach Matt Land said, we just had a little bit more in the tank than our rival Tigers. You know, our first games are always your, uh, I don't want to say your worst game because that's, that's taking credit away from the other team. They played excellent, and we did too. But you make a lot of, and I think tonight you saw two teams that made some mistakes, but you also saw two teams that overcame some mistakes. And, man, thank the good Lord, uh, we, we, we wound up with uh, a few more on the board than they did. We did extremely well, but we also have a lot of things. We all made mistakes. I made a big one. And my team, they just picked me up. And we all, we're all together on this, so we all did pretty well. I'd say overall they did pretty well. Calvis Rhodes was our player of the game. He rushed for well over 100 yards tonight. That's what Dalton likes to do, run the football. As a matter of fact, Ringgold played a really good game, but in the end it came down to, Darrell, just a couple of plays, and the Cats made those plays, and the Tigers did not. Uh, a good start for Dalton uh, right out of the chute, picking up a tough victory. Uh, a lot of football left for the Tigers. Great night tonight. I'm sure they would have loved to pick up the victory tonight in the inaugural game here at this brand new facility, but there'll be a lot of cheering in the days and in the weeks to come because uh, Ringgold has a good team, and this is a great place to not only play football, but to watch a football game. A lot of fun tonight, Daryl. 21-19, Dalton pulls out, as you would say, a white knuckler. <laughs> yeah, boy, Dave. Hey, thanks a lot.